What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the Thecus N5810 Pro. Now, this is another NAS, but this is a NAS with a difference. Now, for those of you that don't know, NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, and this one in particular is a great device to go for if you are maybe working from home and you're very, very dependent upon your storage being up 24-7, or maybe even you've got a small business and you're looking to have, again, very stable access to all of your data and files now this one has a whole bunch of features like I say one in particular that separates it out from the rest and I'll come back to that a little bit later on now first up let's start off with a few of the specifications because this really does have some great specs first up this is a Celeron quad core processor comes standard with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM but you can upgrade that to 8 gigabytes now that may not sound a lot but because these are all based around Linux and they're very very optimized for the hardware 8 gigabytes is actually quite a lot in terms of network attached storage and you really won't be left wanting now this particular one is a five bay unit so in here you can have five SATA drives so in total you can have a huge amount of storage now this supports all of the typical raid configurations that you would expect zero one five etc and like I say you can put up to five drives in here and have them all integrated into one raid set now in addition to that it's also got a little LCD screen on the front which gives you all of the up to date information on the N5810 Pro. In addition to that we've also got the power button which I must say was just a tiny little bit flimsy. It worried me that it kind of felt like it was pushing in but definitely not a deal breaker. Round on the back we've got a kettle lead type power supply and the power supply is built into the unit which I love. There's no need to try and find a location to put a huge power brick and it's also very easily replaceable. Round on the back, another great feature, we've got an HDMI out along with a line out so we can plug this into any TV or screen and we can get full visuals and audio out of this device. In addition to that we've got two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports and a huge 5 gigabit Ethernet ports which we can link together to give us in total 5000 megabits per second speed or 500 megabytes per second. And then we come to the real USP with this NAS, the great feature that it includes, and that is an integrated UPS. Now, UPS is an uninterruptible power supply, and what that basically means is that we've got a battery backup built directly into this NAS that we can take out and change and it's very very easy to maintain. Now what this means is that if the actual power to the box goes down it will still continue to run which is incredible and before I was actually using this I managed to pick it up whilst it was still powered on, move it to a completely different room up in a different location of the house and it was still powered on by the time I got up there and then re-plugged it all back in again. Now what this means is that you've got a very low risk of any kind of data corruption whatsoever because you're never going to get a situation where files are open and the power comes out. This is a great feature and I don't think I've seen it inside any other NAS. Now, in addition to that, with that HDMI port, you can plug this straight into a TV. Please forgive the weird kind of lines going down the screen. That's not the box. It's just the frame rate of the camera. Now, once you're into that, you've got a full Linux workstation at your fingertips. And you can install applications on here. You can run applications that are in built. You've got, obviously, full terminal access. And this is fantastic because you can do absolutely anything once you're into this particular setup, this exact arrangement. Now, in addition to this, if you don't want to actually connect this up to a TV, for example, or a screen, what you can do is you can enable VNC and then you can connect to it remotely and have yourself a dedicated Linux workstation that you can access over the network. So, to give you an idea of how that works, we've enabled VNC on the Thecus N5810 Pro. Then all we do is we download a free VNC viewer, enter the IP address, and bang, we are straight onto it. And then, from our workstation, you can use this from a Mac or a PC, or indeed, obviously, another Linux box, we can utilize this in any way that we want to. And this is actually quite a powerful way of utilizing the N5810. You can do a whole bunch of stuff from here. You can go about getting access to anything you would like to. You can get access to the network. You've got access to all of the applications that are inbuilt. And you can literally use this as an additional computer. Plus, obviously, it's serving up all of your storage and data as well. 
Now, in order to configure the Thekus NAS, it's very, very simple. All you need to do is find out the IP address of the unit. If you don't know this, you can either check out your DHCP client list, or if you've set up a manual IP address, you can put that in. Or if you don't know it at all, you can download a application from Thekus's website in both Mac and Windows, and that will go about searching your device on the network and present you with the IP address, and you can connect directly from there. Now, once you're into the web interface management page, you can configure absolutely anything that you would like to from this point. This is a very, very feature rich NAS and also allows you to go very in depth in terms of the overall configuration itself. But that being said, if you want to, you can deep dive into the Linux command line itself and do a great deal on top of what you can do inside the management web page with this NAS. And I really like the fact that it's so flexible and open for you to configure in any way that you want to. But the management web page itself is ridiculously comprehensive. In here, you can configure absolutely everything you'd ever want to via a GUI. That means that if you don't want to delve into any kind of command line or you're worried about that, you're going to have no issues with this device at all. Now from here you can configure all of the user accounts, you can set up all of your RAID configuration, you can create all of your file shares, you can set up all of the network cards, you can do link aggregation like I said earlier, anything that you'd ever want to do can all be done from here very very simply, very very easily and also accessible from anywhere. If you wanted to set up a VPN server on here for example, it's extremely easy to go into the configuration add that particular package, set it up as a VPN server, and then you can get full remote access to the N5810 from wherever you are and set up all of the configuration very, very easily indeed. On top of that, if you wanted to, you could also connect in remotely via VPN and get access to your data. So this is a very flexible, very feature-rich NAS, and I also love the fact that it's got that UPS inbuilt into it. In terms of my overall opinion, the downsides to it were that obviously it's a bit bigger because it has that inbuilt battery and also that inbuilt power supply. Uh, the five bays is a kind of a strange number, but also at the same time very useful because it means that you could have, for example, four discs in a RAID 5 and then one extra as a hot swap spare. The power button on the front, I did find a little bit flimsy. I was worried that I was kind of pushing it in and it was actually breaking, but I think that was actually by design. I'm not too sure. Overall, though, this thing performs admirably. It's very fast, very flexible. It's also very advanced as well. If you want to get deep and dirty and do a whole bunch of things that you may not be comfortable with in the normal kind of Linux world, this is going to be a great way for you to do it. That UPS that's built into it is great, especially if you're a small business and you're worried about data integrity. And overall, I've been very, very impressed with this particular NAS from Thekus, especially as they're a company that aren't particularly well known in Europe. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I definitely recommend this box and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.